Unless you're in a wheelchair or walk with a cane, you probably don't think about whether exam room tables at the doctor's office are accessible to those with disabilities. Well, it's a problem our News 5 Investigates team first revealed earlier this year. And now we've just learned a local nonprofit has agreed to invest $150,000 to fix the issue. Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross reports. Thanks to the Independence Center Board, nine additional medical clinics throughout our region are now equipped with a special accessible exam room table and lift. It's equipment people with disabilities say they've waited a long time for. Getting a routine exam at the doctor's office just got easier for people like Tim Ashley. Everybody's going to reach a point where an exam table like this that raises up and down uh, is going to be beneficial to them at some point in their life. It's a relatively simple idea, but we're told many smaller medical clinics and centers simply haven't invested in the technology. Its cost is a potential deterrent. This ADA accessible exam table, which measures a person's weight and automatically raises and lowers with the push of a button, costs around $5,000. And this lift to help people in wheelchairs transition to the table costs another $1,000. But if you ask people with physical challenges, they'll tell you it's well worth the investment. My hopes and my visions would be to uh, help promote this to every clinic in the United States. Uh, I believe everybody deserves equal access to full medical treatment. Thanks to a special grant, the Independence Center Board voted to donate $75,000 in accessible equipment this year, along with another $75,000 next year. Patricia Yeager is the CEO of the Independence Center. You would think in the healthcare field that doctors would be accessible. I mean, there, it's a medical condition at the base of it, um, but medical clinics are not, um, not accessible. These days you can usually get in and you can go to the bathroom, but if you can't get on that table, you're not getting a regular exam. And that's where the rubber meets the road in healthcare. Sometimes if they're not able to get up on the exam table or out of the wheelchair, um, then we end up having to kind of limit the exam that we do. This past Monday we had a patient and he told me he hadn't checked his weight in about a year. I've seen people who've been, who haven't had a weight in five years. And how do you prescribe um, a dosage if you don't know what the weight of that person really is and you're d depending on them to, to tell you? Um, it's not fair. It's not a good exam. And it can lead to premature deaths. Unfortunately, the Independence Center says some people with disabilities avoid doctors until they have to go to the emergency room with a serious illness. The Set Family Medical Clinic says they hope this equipment will encourage those people to be more proactive with their health care. And to help the hearing impaired, the Independence Center also donated two assistive listening devices to the Age Well Associates Center and Value Care Clinic. Now for a list of medical clinics equipped with ADA accessible tables and lifts thanks to the Independence Center Fund, all you have to do is log on to our News 5 app or website. There we've also posted who to contact if you're interested in making your doctor's office accessible at no cost to you or your provider. Watching out for you, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. And if you have a news tip you'd like Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross to look into, call our tip line 719-228-6275 or send an email anytime to news5investigates at koaa.com.